We're going to do a carburetor cleaning on a VTX 1300. Let me remove the seat and the gas tank. I like to put the bolts right on the ground near where they were removed. Remove the front wires from the cluster. Stick your hand in here. Remove cover. There's only two connections and makes it easier than screwing around with everything else. Remove gas line. Vacuum for diaphragm. Tilt the tank up. Vacuum line for gas tank. Remove tank squarely. Mm. Place aside. Air cleaner, clean. Refill up said. Another bolt on bottom of box. Clip away, idle. Air hose to breathe up. Make sure accelerator pump works. You see gas, Phillips head. Remove manifold to carburetor, Phillips head. Pry carburetor off gently. Remove choke cable. Couple turns, slide it out. Remove cotter pin and linkage on right side of carburetor. Remove screw that will drain float. Try to minimize your mess. Gas doesn't look bad. It's a customer's bike. We'll get it straightened out. Wasn't idling proper. Cold start. Reseat it. Not too tight. Without removing the carburetor, I took a bungee cord, 
try to get this up so we don't have to remove the hoses to the radiator, electrical, and cables. It's not bad. For just cleaning the carburetor, I find it the way to go. Disconnect that accelerator pump linkage. Get a good hand on this and crack these Phillips heads squarely. There you go. One, two, three. If one seems to be stripped, get a vice grip, get it on the side, and loosen it just like that. These screws can be a bear. Use an impact screwdriver, Harbor Freight or Sears. Then a magnetic tip, take them out nice, nice. One. This was the one that was a little tough, so I used that vice grip. We'll take a look at it and replace it. Yeah, it's mauled up. Somebody's been in here. One more. that one too as you hit this you can hear the accelerator pump working you see some fluid moving float this motorcycle was leaking no fuel that was not a problem remove main jet seven millimeters Clean with a wire brush. Make sure all these holes are nice. Usually the problem is the starter jet, idle jet, the small one. We'll get to it in a minute. I got a piece of wire from a wire brush. I run that. It's a big hole. These little ones, possible. A little carb cleaner. Reinstall. Just seat it lightly. Next hole right here is your idle jet. Piece of wire. This is the small one. This is usually the culprit. Run it through it. Run it through the small holes. A little carb cleaner up there. Reinstall. 
You're going to need a screwdriver at the tip. The width is kind of nice. Just fits in here squarely. Just seat. There's one other hole here for choke. Run your wire up into it. Nice and lightly. There it is. Taking a screwdriver, it seems the air screw on this carburetor was fooled around with. It's a screwdriver. Usually it'll be a D bit. You'll understand more. This was done with a screwdriver. Somebody swapped it out. I put a line on the screwdriver to see where I'm at when I start. It's right in back. This is air gas. I'm going to close it. I'm going to tighten it up clockwise to see how many turns it is. And that's why I marked the screwdriver. This is what the problem was with this bike. No doubt in my mind. Take a little white and just mark it so I know when I'm turned in. One whole turn, a turn and a half, two. Usually this should be set at one and a half to two turns. Somebody's played with this. Those two stripped screws is an indication. One. One and three quarters. That's one. I'm gonna go one and a half and see how that works. Now we'll put it back together.